This is my city, London. 800 square miles, vast, sprawling, restless. Over 8 million people live and work, love and play, hate and die. On the fringe, hidden in the shadows, those who prey on the innocent. Steal, destroy, attack and kill. When they do, it's a job for me and the Criminal Investigation Department. Show me. What are you sniffing around here for? Well, I'm broke, Yob. I was wondering if there was uh, anything I could do to help Mickey. Any odd jobs, like. Nothing odd enough for you, mate. Now, go on. Get loose! <laughs> and sable mostly, about 1,800 skins. 
The top quality. I picked them out myself. Now, how much? Oh, come on, Milt. Okay. Jock will deliver them in about an hour. You'd like to come over to my place tonight? Oh, just a little party, about half past nine. Okay? Right, bye, Milton. It'll take a lot. Nice work. <sighs> Tell Jock. Sure, Mickey. Party tonight. My place, 9.30. Oh, Rose, at nine. What's that? We just happened to mention it, casual-like. Why? Well, we were talking, that's all. What about? Well, nothing, Mickey, honest. You're so darn sensitive. Why? Because I'm an albino? Because my hair's white? Oh, no, Mickey. What am I so sensitive about? Well, lay off, Mickey, you're hurting. I see you even look at Rose. I'll work you over so that your hair will turn as white as mine. You understand? Well, I was only asking. I, I didn't mean anything, honest. Tell Jock to get those furs over to Milton. Go on. Ah, oh, baby. You miss me? Huh? You miss Mickey today? Hmm? Well, that's Rosie. You want to see Rosie? How'd it go, hmm? Fine. No problems. Not for me. Just for the cops. Henderson? Good evening. Are you waiting for Chief Inspector Keene? I hope not. He said pick him up sharp at six. And how sharp can you get? I'll make sure he knows you're here. <laughs> 17,000 pounds, eh? Yeah. In raw furs, mostly mink and sable. What about the watchman? In hospital. Concussion. His condition's critical. Any division has a man standing by in case he comes to. Why is division so short with Mickey Keston? Because Sid Taylor's been working that area for 10 years. He knows more about Mickey and Mickey's friends than anybody on the force. He's positive Mickey did the job. Take a drive over there, Dave, and have a talk to him. We've been after Mickey Keston for a long time. Right, I'll go over there first thing in the morning. You better go tonight. He can't go tonight. Why not? Because there's a young woman named Mary Henderson downstairs to see him. Yes, an old aunt from Australia. We're going to a harp recital. But you'll drop into Northeast Division on the way, won't you? Yes, at the cost of a shattered romance. Yes, there's a good boy. Good night. Enjoy the harp. Good night. You remember Sid Taylor? Oh, of course. Met heavyweight boxing champion eight years in succession, wasn't he? Yeah. Sid and I used to walk a beat together in Limehouse when I first joined the force. Taught me a lot, old Sid. Sort of took me under his wing. Lord knows how many years ago now. Funny, isn't it? What is? How you lose touch with old friends. Sid was best man at my wedding. You mean we're going to a police station? Yeah, just for a few minutes. But the Braithwaite's are expecting us at nine. We can skip dinner. This evening has the makings of a magnificent failure. Well, you're always wanting to play Mrs. Sherlock Holmes. Now's your chance. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. You should have seen her this afternoon. Ugh. It was in a sale, reduced to six guineas. An awful lot of money for Dopey Dan. Malcolm. Good evening, Mr. Gideon. Hello, Dan. A big party you're off to? No, we're going to pro, -pro musica the pro musica arts club reception for Sestumovich. Oh. Says who? He only happens to be one of the world's greatest conductors. That's all. 
You can have him. Well, have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, Dad. Good night, Mum. Good night. Bye, Dopey. All right, Smarty. Up to your room. <laughs> Don't you laugh, either. You're as bad as he is. Well, it takes all sorts to make a world, doesn't it? Mickey's an albino. His hair and eyebrows are snow white. Makes him look almost like a cretin, but he's not. He's tough, hard, and ruthless. I've been after him for a long time, as Mr. Hopkinson knows. Yes, but, Sergeant, all you have is a hunch. Yes, that's true, sir. But I've been on any division for ten years. I've got friends. You know how it is. You pick up a word here and a word there. I'm sure, as I'm standing here, that Mickey pulled that fur warehouse job. And if I were given the chance, I could nail him. Well, it's up to you. Well, we're pretty short-staffed at the moment. Could you give me a week, sir? Full-time on Mickey? Yes, I suppose we could manage that. Hopkinson, you could start in the morning. When? No, it's all right. The warehouse guard died ten minutes ago. No statement? No, he didn't regain consciousness. Then I think I'd better start tonight, sir, if you don't mind. It's all yours, Sid. Thank you, sir. Mr. Keene, have you got your car? I have a car. May I introduce Detective Sergeant Sid Taylor? Miss Henderson. Good evening, Mr. Taylor. How do you do, miss? Do you think you could uh, squeeze in the back? Do make yourself at home. Yes, sir. Comfortable? <laughs> yes, sir. Henderson and I, we, uh, we're going to a party. We still are, aren't we? Two, if you like. Your own and Mickey Keston's. I beg your pardon. Take the next right, please, miss. You mean this Mickey character is having a party and we crash it? That's the idea, miss. And let's get on with it before I suffocate. And suppose we're not welcome? We won't be. Oh. Maybe you'd rather wait in the car. Not on your life. My criminal tendencies are all aroused. Obviously, it's a beer and chips party. How people can live like this, I don't know. Oh, my God, the Boy Scouts have arrived. Mickey! Mickey! Well, if it isn't my old friend, Sid Taylor. How are you, Sid? Mr. Taylor to you, if you don't mind, Mickey. Well, I could have sworn that I didn't invite old Sid along tonight. You're always glad to see me. Go on, admit it. It's Mary Henderson, Mickey Keston, Rose Lemon, and this is Chief Inspector Keene, Scotland Yard. Well, now that you're here, why don't you have a drink? Oh, don't be nervous, Miss Henderson. He's human. Take care of our honored guests, everybody. Don't be shy about helping yourself to the drinks. 
I wanted you to see how he lives. Yeah. Does all right, doesn't he? Yes, but the question is how. Let's stick around for a few minutes. Talk to them. All right. Why are they here? How would I know? Do you think they know about... Shut up. Well, hello. Hello. Want to dance? Oh, go ahead. Come on, let's dance. Are you really a detective? Yes, I'm afraid so. I ain't proud. What's your name? David. Should be Goliath, the giant economy size. Hey, Ralph, get us another drink. Hey, you've had enough. Oh, excuse me. What for? You haven't done anything yet. Nice place you have here, Mickey. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Beautiful. Don't you think so, sir? Very beautiful. Expensive, too. Very expensive. How do you suppose he pays for it? Well, I'll tell you. Good people have to work hard for what they get. But the bad? They just stand around with their hands out and everything comes easy. He's a philosopher. Fantastic. And a killer. You're kidding. That watchman at the fur warehouse, Mickey. Remember him? What's he talking about? He died. You hit him too hard, Mickey. Can you prove that? No. Well, then be careful how you talk. I might decide to sue you for slander. I'll be seeing you, Mickey. Show these gentlemen out. How do you tell Mickey and the rat apart? Get out. I know. The rat's the one in the cage. <laughs> You think that's funny? Do you? When a deadbeat old copper does that to me? No, Mickey, Get out! Get out, all of you! Mickey! Beat it. Come on, get out! Mickey, Mickey, stop it! Gang of cheap hangers-on, laughing up free drinking food. Get out! Mickey, please! Mickey, listen! You go someplace and drop dead! Mickey! Get out. Mickey, they didn't mean anything. Shut up! Job's your friend. Are you defending him? He didn't do anything! He laughed at me! He didn't! They all do! They laugh at me behind my back, every one of them! God Almighty, I hate them! I hate every last one of Stop crying. Throw me out. What do you want me to do? Laugh? I'm not throwing you out. Will you make up your mind? Do you want me to stay or don't you? Suit yourself. Far better off with somebody with nice black curly hair. Somebody who at least looks normal. I thought we'd get to that sooner or later. Get to it? I've been with it all my rotten life. Mickey, I've told you a thousand times I don't care. You must be crazy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Nobody could be in love with a freak. That's what I am. Not to me. I'm a million to one shot. Ever since I was five years old, people have pointed at me. Do you know what I wanted to be? No. Well, I wanted to be a doctor once. For kids. <laughs> Isn't that a big laugh? Kid takes one look at me and he gets so sick, he throws up. I've had wigs, I've dyed my hair, I've, I've done everything, but it doesn't make any difference. But now I've found how to get things out of life. You just, you just take them. And if anybody gets in your way... Mickey, Mickey, I understand that, but you... Just don't try to tell me that you see me normal. I'm not. And I never will be. All right. Have it your own way. You're a freak. Look at me. Go on, take a good long look. Now, what do you see? You, Mickey. Oh. Look, if you just try once... Look, leave me alone. All right, I give up. Good. Find yourself somebody else. Oh. Oh, I'll find somebody else, Mickey. Don't you worry about that. I'll find somebody else. 
had plenty of men around. I'm not bad looking. But you won't get it through that great ugly head of yours that I... I won't find anybody ever. Anybody as much as I love you. It's you I love, Mickey. But why, Rose? Why? I... I don't know the way you... The way you treat me. Rose, don't go. Don't go, Rose. Rose, don't go. Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Sometimes I feel lost in the jungle. What do you mean? Well, miss, I was Metropolitan Heavyweight Champion for eight years. Five minutes alone with Mickey. Then get kicked off the force and go to jail for criminal assault. So we work by the book. And sometimes it's pretty discouraging. David, it's after ten. Mm. Yes, we must be going. Can we drop you anywhere, Sergeant? No, thank you. No, no, I'm, I'm waiting for someone. We stopped. Give us a packet of cigs, me old neck. Have you got a match, Governor? Right. Thanks, pal. Get off. What? You heard me. Get off. What? How am I going to get home? Well, crawl for all I can now. Beat it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Is he working for you? Mickey thinks he's working for him. I think he's working for me. But actually, Fingers is working for Fingers. Well, I'm sorry I spoiled your evening, miss. Not at all. I thought Mickey's party was quite fascinating. I thought it was sickening. What you doing, Fingers? Tinkering with your conscience? You know what I was once? I used to be a dog trainer. I used to make a little dog named Fingers jump through hoops. Listen, you You're working for Taylor. No. You're a squealer. I ain't. Hunters to God, I ain't. Fingers. The first thing a dog has to learn is discipline. Oh! oh come here. Now talk. I, I do nothing. Hunters to God, I ain't done nothing. I seen you in the cafe. Regular little bilge pump you are, pouring out the dirt when it will pay you the most. And you saw us come back off that fur job. I didn't. And you tipped off Taylor. I didn't. Because of Finger's murder, every informer in London will be having second thoughts today. Yes, sir. We won't get a tip off worth tuppence for months. Yeah. You think Mick did it? No, sir. Yob is sidekick. Said, why don't we hold them all in for questioning? The whole gang. That wouldn't get us anywhere, sir. And what do you suggest? Superintendent Hopkinson has agreed to leave me full time on Mickey. I'll get him. Yob, too. If not for this, then for the next job he does. All right, Sid. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, sir. Is that all? No, not quite. 
I just can't get used to the idea of old Sid Taylor calling me sir all the time. Not what you used to call me in the old days, is it? No, sir. Remember that night I nearly got arrested myself? Yes, sir, yes, sir. How's Molly? Same. And the boys? Grown up now. Frank's got two kids of his own. Really? I'm a grandfather. Yeah. Never see you these days, Sid. Why? I said, why? I never wanted to rise any higher in the police force than Detective Sergeant. Frankly, I, well, I don't like responsibility. But I always knew you'd make it. And you have. You've made it big. A full commander. I say. No, sir, no, you don't. Things are different now. Not that much. Can you and Molly come to lunch on Sunday? Oh, it wouldn't be fitting, sir. Oh, come off it now. Lunch on Sunday and that's in order. Well, if it's an order, George, then we'll have to be there. Good, good. I'll get Kate to give Molly a ring. A one-ton van on the 15th, 9 a.m. We'll be there. You're welcome. It's not that I'm going into mourning for Fingers. It's just that I sort of liked him. Oh, you always went for the lame ducks. Now, Mickey, don't let's start that again. OK, I'm sorry. Fingers was a prince. At least he was good for a laugh. He was a squealer. Did Yob do it? Darling, do me a favor. Don't ask any questions. What you don't know won't hurt you. How'd you get that dent? I was a naughty boy. Answer my question. I was parking it. Scraped it against a lamppost. Did you see fingers last night? No. Nope. Where were you last night about 10 o'clock? I was at Mickey's party. You saw me there. You stupid flatfoot. Takes more than big feet to make a copper. You have more respect for the law. Good morning. Detective Sergeant Taylor, sir, Esquire, your honor. Is that respectful enough? It'll do. It should, considering what you earn in a year. What time did Yob here leave your party last night? I'd say about uh, 3.30 in the morning, wouldn't you, Rose? Yes. Not that. You're lying your teeth, both of you. The way the police talk to citizens these days. Shocking, isn't it? Terrible. And then they wonder why the public doesn't cooperate. What's this, the gathering of the clan? Legitimate employees of Mickey's transport yard. Morning coffee break. Yes, I believe in labor relations. Nobody could be related to you, Mickey. Can I give you a lift anywhere, Mr. Taylor? Division headquarters. If it's not going out of your way. Oh, not a bit. As good citizens, we like doing all we can to help with the war against crime. Mm -hmm. How long have you been with Mickey? Three years. What do you see in him? Well, Mr. Taylor, let me put it this way. I'm sure thousands of people have asked your wife the same question. For her answer, read mine. Everybody likes payday. Job. Thanks, Mickey. Alf. Alf's a bundle of nerves. Uh, Jack. Thanks, Mickey. And you get paid too, baby. Well, that's the last fur job. Good. Furs are finished. I decide what's finished around here, son, and who's finished. Well, okay, Mickey. Why are you at me all the time? Because you're so violent, John. Now, the next job is for Saturday night. Bonded warehouse on number two dock. A shipment of industrial diamonds worth 53,000 pounds. <laughs> Have you seen Mickey Keston anywhere tonight? No, now that you mention it. 
Something's going on. What makes you think so? Every Saturday night now for weeks, Mickey and his boys have got drunk at the George and Dragon. Suddenly, nobody's seen them. Who knows where they are? Why? Industrial diamonds don't. Evening, Rose. What do you want? Mickey home? No. Where is he tonight? Manchester. Job too? Yes. And what's happening in Manchester? <laughs> you must know they have a three-van shipment of copper tubing. Really? And who take delivery of copper tubing in Manchester on a Sunday? I have no idea. Oh, come off it, Rose. He's got a job on tonight, hasn't he? Look, why don't you leave him alone? Why do you hound him like this? He killed that warehouse guard. He didn't. That's what he tells you. You were down on him because of the way he looks. <laughs> You're joking. Oh, yes. That's very funny. I'm a policeman. He's a killer. His looks have nothing to do with it. His looks have everything to do with it. He's been driven to doing some of the things he's done, and I'm glad he's got away with them. What's he doing tonight? Get out and leave me alone. OK, Rose. I'll go. But I'll get him for what he's doing tonight, because I'm as sure as I'm standing here that he's doing something. <laughs> Question. Said he knew you were up to something. I also said I'd get you. I'll take that. And a lot of you. You're under arrest. Well, I'll say this for you, Sid. You've got guts. the flat. Pack me a bag. Quick, I'll phone you. Mickey, it's Do not... Do as you're told. Go to ground. Scatter. Great times together, Sid and I. It'll be good having me around here tomorrow, won't it? And Molly. Kate, why is it just because you're a senior officer in the yard? People you've known for years no longer think of you as a human being anymore. Why is that? George, 
Sid's right. People do change. Not Sid. And not me. Don't be disappointed, will you? Disappointed? Sugar. Oh, yeah. If once you get over the reminiscing stage, you've nothing much to talk about. Yes, I thought of that too. I'll take it. Now, Gideon. How bad is it? Anybody told his wife? What hospital? All right, thanks. What is it? Sid Taylor. He's been shot. <laughs> Mickey did it, George. <laughs> we'll get him, Sid. van near Birmingham. Who was in it? Yob and two others. I have a man watching the flat. The still on the side of Mickey or the girl. Banner's in town. Mickey, for God's sake, give up. Every copper in London's after you. They won't get me. I'm sailing with Vanner tomorrow. I've been to see him. It's all fixed. I'm sailing at noon. Australia. Now, as soon as I get there, I'll send for you. I promise. Mickey, if you feel anything for me at all, please. Rose, I love you. You're going down for this. Mickey, shut him, not me. Tell us where he is, then. He wouldn't cover up for you. He's got away, and you're going down in his place. Well, maybe Mickey's... Yes? Well, he happened to mention a friend of his was in town. What friend? A captain. You mean a captain of a boat? A, a freighter. What's the name of it? Well, Mickey didn't say. What's the name of the captain? Well, we didn't say that either. But the boat's in the port of London now, is it? Yes. Where's it docked? Well, I don't know. Well, that's all Mickey told me. Oh, my God, take me alone! All right, get onto it fast. Right. Rose Lemon just turned up at Mickey's flat. Bring her in. I want to talk to her. Two hours we sail, mister. At noon. By midnight, maybe, you're safe and come out. Till then, keep door locked. Understand? Yes. Fine. What's your cargo, Vanner? Cellulose. Now maybe I ask something. Go ahead. What you run away from? Everything. What do you care? I'm paying you, aren't I? Take it easy, baby. It's all right. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Solid. Take two days, mover. Uh -huh. What's along there? Electrical store. Come, I show you.
Hey, baby, where are you? Come here. Now come back. And when do you sail? I tied. She went off. Uh-huh. Mustn't keep you then. Thank you for your cooperation. That's all right, mister. You've got him. Huh? You're under arrest. I know you're in there, Mickey. Just come out quietly. Come on, Mickey, or break down the door. You try that copper and I'll blow this boat right to hell. I got two sticks of jelly out here, and I'll blow us all clean out of the water. Is he nitro? I don't know, mister. He funny man. Maybe got jelly, maybe not, but I got 7,000 tons cellulose bait. It's 11 o'clock, copper. If this boat doesn't sail at 12, on schedule, I'll blow it up. Mister, please! I gotta do it, fella. Come here, fella, come here. I gotta do it. They're not gonna take me alive. You neither, fella. We'll both go. We'll both go. Yes, David? Yes? All right, I get the picture. We've got him. No. He's on a Dutch freighter. He claims he's got two sticks of gel ignite, has he? I... I'm not sure. Look, he's threatening to blow the boat out of the water. There's a crew. God knows how many more on the dockside. Has he got gel ignite or hasn't he? Yes. Has. He's got it all right. I'll lay on the firefighting equipment. I get the crew ashore. I'll be with you as soon as I can. He may kill a dozen, two dozen men. Are you going to help me? I've got to decide whether to send in a raiding party or starve him out. Raiding, mister? Mister, 7,000 tons cellulose paint I got. Can we get near enough to that cabin to pump in tear gas? Without noise? Fred noise, he blow up my ship, mister. What about the crew? They all disembarked except one engineer. I'm going on board to talk to him. Sir, don't be a fool. Dan the bell stand here and let one man defy the whole of the London police. See, fella, they got no choice. Either we sail in four minutes, or bang, it works. Hey, where you go, please? Keston, this is Commander Gideon. Now be sensible and come on out of there. Sensible? If I come out, I get hanged. You've got less than four minutes left, copper. If this boat isn't moving by then, I'll blow it right out of the water. Be careful, sir. Get her out of here. Mickey! Mickey, it's me, Rose! You fool! Mickey! They've arrested me for being an accessory to Taylor's murder. Do you hear me, Mickey? Mickey, they're gonna hang me! Gideon, she had nothing to do with it! Nothing! Now get her off! Mickey, they say if you'll give up quietly, they'll make things easier for me. She had nothing to do with it, Gideon! She was there, Keston. Do you want Rose to hang? Is that what you want? I want this boat to move, Copper. Or I'll blow us all to hell. You've got one and a half minutes. Mickey, if you blow up this boat, I'm going with it. 
it. I couldn't let them hang me, Mickey. I couldn't. Get in the country with anything to hurt her. Get her off. Mickey, I love you. Please don't kill me. One minute. So help me. I'm coming in, Keston. You're looking right into hell, copper. She had nothing to do with Taylor's death. Yes, we know that. You know? Liar. Cheat. Oh. Bitch. Dirt. Scum. I had to do it, Mickey. I love him. Clear now. Ooh. Take good care of that. <laughs> 